Hello, tea timers. So today I am drinking a um, Irish breakfast with a little bit of cream. And it's just me today. Don's not here drinking his coffee. He's, he's still in bed. Shh. <laughs> ah, I just love that first sip of your morning tea. Okay, so let's see. Oh, so um, I, I noticed, uh, did you, you know how Cassidy is one of the tea timers and um, she's opened up a fantastic Tilly, a fantastic Tilly YouTube thing? I didn't, I didn't know, but apparently she's, she's already got a thousand subscribers. So that's amazing. So congratulations to our, our tea timer. And it's under fantastic Tilly. If you want to go check it out, it's a YouTube thingy. Like this one, I'm well. I don't I, not like this one. She has like compilations. If you're like a, a Jennifer Tilly fan, or you know, she does ones of us. She does ones of things that she's cut together. So it's really it's really cool. You check it out. Let's see. So I um I don't have Don reading me the questions. So I I printed them out, and I was gonna put them in my little black book, and um oh. The black book, it's been a while, right? Because we were going away. It's full. It's all full. <laughs> so uh, I was at the very last page here. Um, so I just printed them out here. And then I'll, I'll have to get another book at some point. And I probably won't get to all of these, but I'll get to some. So last key time, we talked about, I guess I must have mentioned the big chill because there were several comments about the big chill. Um, Colleen Crawford said, The Big Chill is still my go-to fantastic movie and your part was classic, LOL. Question, do you have any Kevin Klein stories? Think he's the best actor in the last 50 years. He's also been my crush for 40 years, LOL. And then, um, and then uh, she also had asked, uh, can you indulge any behind the scenes crushes with any of the co-stars? I heard Joe, Beth, and Kevin had a thing, LOL. Um, I don't know. <laughs> and if I did know, I probably still wouldn't tell you because unless I'm the one in the bedroom and I'm the one, um, you know, ha having a crush or whatever else, then that's fair game for me if I want to mention it. But other people's stuff, I don't know. But even if I, but that's not me prevacating because I really seriously don't know because I'm, pretty oblivious and when you're on a set everybody's well I mean sometimes there's things that you know but on, on that particular one I don't I don't know and I wouldn't know <laughs> because sometimes people can have like flirty relationships on set but I would never want to do an F Murray Abraham and so that's my that's my that's my policy there are ones where I I know no not on Big Chill but on other things but even then, I know no, but do I really know no? Because, <laughs> do I really know no? <laughs> no, because um, unless you're actually one of the participants. And there are times where somebody's all swagging around and saying, yeah, like they're cock of the walk and I whatever. And they might be I whatevering about you. And it's, it's like, no, that didn't, that wasn't, not at all. <laughs> oh. I remember, well, that's, I was going to tell a story about something, but that's not appropriate either. Let me move on. Mm. Here, this is where my tea timers know so much. So Scott Freeman. Now here, I'm wondering about this because I have one of my very dear friends uh, is Ken Freeman and he does have a boy named Scott. So if that's you, Scott, hi. <laughs> or if you just happen to have the same name, um, well, that's very cool too. But anyway, here, he said, if I'm not mistaken in the big chill, Larry's other son was in the funeral reception scene. That's right. There was a scene about that and is now a director too. Larry spent lots of effort focusing on all the emotional nuances, uh, in the actor's faces in every scene. He did do that. Um, can you imagine what these characters would be like today in the post Trump era? Uh, you know what, guys? 
I mean, I, sometimes you think of your characters a little bit, but I don't think of um, the movies I've done a lot. And sometimes people will come up to me and they'll, they'll like shout a sentence out at me really happily and they'll look at me like, huh? <laughs> like, huh? What do you think, huh? And, um, and I'm not sure what they're talking about because <laughs> once I have a film done, the characters and the lines, they just go out of my head. And I, you guys have a better idea of what they are than me. Sometimes I, I keep some of my characters as a part of me, in me. Um, and as for Chloe, you know, it's interesting because I really like playing her. But she just seemed more like kind of there and then not. Is she, is she still alive? Is she somebody like me or is she... I don't know, like, I don't know what's going on with any of them. There's certain ones where, I guess they're like encapsulated in a certain period of time. You know how it is when you see um, somebody you haven't seen in a long time, or you see, like you see your children growing up, but you don't see other people's children growing up. And so oddly, my brain sometimes keeps people encapsulated in the time that I knew them so that when you see them, it's a surprise because I know I'm getting older, but um, I don't think everybody else is. Oh, which reminds me, <laughs> one of the, our newer tea timers did have a comment about how I'm younger than Jen, but I look way older than her. <laughs> and first of all, it's like, ouch. And then it was like, why ouch? So it was really actually a kind of a gift because, um, I mean, don't give me a lot of gifts though because, you know, I'm human too. But the thing is, is that um, I thought about it and I was thinking about my life and I was thinking about how I'm really grateful for the years I've lived. I'm really grateful to be you know, 62. I'm really grateful for all the joys and also the worries and the challenges that have, are now on, in my hair, on my face, in my heart, on my body, you know, um, it's all who have I, who I am. And getting, getting old, I thought, isn't it interesting how it's, not a compliment if somebody's like wow you look way older than what whatever other people your age or something but why is it not why is it that getting older is a negative why is it that it was like oh that 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 kind of hurt my feelings why i am so blessed to be getting older i have so many friends and loved ones who did not get the privilege to live as long as i have and um, and I hope I I hope I get the privilege to see my face in the mirror age even more and see my body get more creaks and groans and um, and be able to know that kind of sweet tender beauty which is getting more present of. There's at a time when you say, well, if I ever die right? If I ever die. But that, that if is not there, I mean, it's not there for any of us. It's when I pass away. It's when I do. But it's, uh, it, when you get, when you get to be my age, you realize, oh yeah, it really becomes clear that it's a when. And I hope that I get to look much, much older. I hope I get to be like so wrinkly. <laughs> And, and for all my hair to go white, or or maybe I'd lose my hair. I, I don't even know what the future is going to bring. I just know that I am blessed to be the age that I am and will continue to get older. <laughs> so, so, you know, that's the way it goes. Okay, where was I? Oh, oh. Okay, so, oh, um, and then Robert C., who, you know, uh, 
uh, Robatsi, who we all know, he knows a lot about movies. He said Jake's son, no, Larry's son, Jake, you see that dyslexia going in there? Larry's son, Jake, is indeed a writer, producer, and director. I really liked his first two movies, Zero Effect and Orange County. I haven't, re I haven't seen them, but I'm really happy for his little son. And you see, like age, what I was just thinking about is when you say Larry's son, I'm like, oh, yes. So was it Larry's son that's in the bathtub with the chubby cheeks going, Jeremiah was a bullfrog? Or was it the one who's a little bit more uh, solemn at the funeral who's in there in his suits? Like, I still see them as that. Like if one of them came up to me and was like, hi, I'm Larry's son. It'd be like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Cause I still see them in that time. More recently, he's directed the remake and its sequel of the movie Jumanji. He is also executive producer of a pair of successful TV comedies, New Girl and Fresh Off the Boat. Well, congratulations. That's very nice to hear. Okay, Jaden Leonard. Would you do a live watch party of your episode on season two of Chucky? Hmm. <laughs> I wasn't thinking, it's funny you say that because I wasn't actually thinking of watching it because, you know, it's scary. But then I thought, then my my sister was talking to me and she's like, May, you can watch, you can watch it because, you know, you know where the scary things are and you know when things are going to happen. And then you can just be like, oh, and you could go out for a thing and then you can come back and it'll be, it'll be fun. So I don't know, maybe I would. Um, but maybe I won't. So no promises, but um, I, I might, oh, my tea. I might, I might actually watch it because I want to, I got to see uh, what everyone is doing like in bits and pieces, but it would be really nice to see it all together. Okay, let's see. What else do we have here? Amy Buchas. The only good thing about this pandemic is that it isn't happening 40 years ago instead. Think about it. We would have only had phone calls and stale mail to keep in touch. Now we can do Zoom, FaceTime, emails, text. In other words, keep in near constant contact touch if we wish. While not ideal, it is so much better than it would have been then. We wouldn't have things like this lovely tea time to look forward to each week. Aw, it's funny. I, um, I copy these down and I print them up, but then I forget, <laughs> sort of like my lines, I forget what I'm gonna read, um, what, what the questions are until I do it. So I'm really glad that this, is, this has been lovely for you guys. And you're right, we do have Zoom. I did one with my boy the other day and it was really, really nice to see his face, him and Amy and I just, uh, but I, I miss him so much. <sighs> You know, I, I know you guys were all just waiting for this. We aren't waiting. That's what, that's the difference. Okay. So when this first happened, as you could tell, the weather's changed a little bit here. I know some of you guys are still in 40 degree weather, but um, it's, it's gotten nice and a little bit cooler here. We had a little bit of rain. Yeah. So before, when this first started, we were waiting. Like we thought, okay, it's only going to be three months. We just have to lock down for three months. And then it went on and on. And now it's, you know. It's two and a half years and and it's looking like it. For sure it'll be three years, the fall and winter, but now we're kind of more, okay, this is how we do it. This is what we do and we're living our life and it's just a different, it's a different one, right? I sure miss, I sure miss my kids coming and tumbling in and out of the house. And I miss going with the freedom and the ease to visit them or my sisters or, you know, I'm sure you all do. Hmm. Oh, well. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll get through this, you guys, and we are getting through it. And the main thing is not to throw away our days, to find the, the things that are, even though we're living with more stress and more like, you know, always looking out for, well, at least I, <laughs> I know a lot of people are just like, okay, I'm just going to live my life. And they aren't like, oh, oh, is this safe? Is that safe? Is this, you know, and um, hopefully these new vaccines are going to do it. Anyway, 
see how it is when Don's not here. It doesn't go chugging along quite this normal way, but, um, but uh, lots of love to you guys. See you next week.